This video will show you how to transition from our existing Boston infrastructure to our Reston infrastructure for receivers that are incapable of using a domain name. Receivers capable of using a domain name should view one of the other videos provided on the Smart Support Portal. For receivers incapable of using domain names and are required to use, dom use IP addresses, such as a GX1230, a smart station, or similar variant, this video will walk you through step by step of creating a new IP and server list and then how to select that after your transition date. First, turn on your receiver and access the main menu. From the main menu, you will select CON5 for config, 4 for interfaces, and then highlight real-time net1 internet. Here you'll select CTRL and you'll see your set your net port and your server list. Here you will see the server currently is set for SmartNet old and an IP address. Please make note of the port that you are currently using. This port will be what you use on your new setup going forward. To create a new server for the Reston infrastructure, you're going to click on the server list and you will see a list of servers available to you. Here we have SmartNet Old. This is SmartNet Old for the Eastern US, .171, Central was .172, Canada 173, West Coast 174. These IPs will be deprecated upon their transition dates. Please look at the email that you received from SmartNet to determine what that deprecation date is and when you need to transition to a new server. Here to create a new server you'll highlight and hit new and then you'll give it a name. SmartNet new we would recommend that you use a state abbreviation there, SmartNet Maryland, SmartNet MD, SmartNet VA for Virginia, SmartNet TX for Texas, etc. Our IPs are assigned at either the regional or the state level. To coincide with domain names, we recommend that you name your servers accordingly based on the state that you want to work in. IPs can always change, domain names would be able to adapt as changes are made. For the IP address, we'll put in our new IP address for the eastern US, excuse me, the northeastern US. And the port number that you made note of in the previous screen. This new IP address will be valid upon the date that you received in your transition email. In the transition email, you will all have also received the valid IPs going forward. If you access the connection and configuration pages, the IP address will not switch until the new transition takes place. So please refer to the email that you received in your transition notice to get the IP address you need for the state that you are working in. Once you have input this IP address and the port, you're going to hit store. You'll see it's highlighted. If I hit continue here, my receiver will now be accessing and using the new IP address. If it is before the transition date, this IP address will not work. You will need to make sure that you're operating on the old IP address until your transition date. So I'm going to go back in, select old, and hit continue. On the day of the transition, you can access and change the server simply by going to configure, interfaces, real time, control, and then selecting the new server from the list and continuing back through. This will allow you to access the new REST and infrastructure after the transition date that you received in your email. Thank you for your attention. If you need support, please email us or visit the support website. Thank you.